This is Gary Atenza with CNTV, and today we're in California. I am here with the company Charles Taylor. Since 1884, this premier environmental testing and consulting service company has provided highly specialized technical services that meet your challenges and enable you to outperform. I am joined with David, who is the vice president, field of operations. Um, thanks for joining us here today, David. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted to be here and talk about these important services. Excellent. I'm going to start off a little bit about yourself. You were formally educated at the University of Toledo, as well as the Medical College of Ohio in occupational health. You began your career three decades ago as a safety technician at a steel mill in Detroit, Michigan, and working at BP refineries in multiple states. You have worked also for the city of Toledo as an environmental health inspector, You've been on call 24 seven to chemical spills many times. You have worked for one of the best H&S consulting firms, as well as traveling across the country solving problems for many companies. Recently in 2020, you expanded into the insurance sector. Share with me why Charles Taylor was a, a good fit for your background and your experience. Yes, uh, in the insurance adjusting field, um, uh, insurance adjusters deal with uh, the the insured and uh, customers that that have losses that involve hazardous materials. So there could be uh, you know, asbestos, lead paint, mold, and uh, what we want to do is get a, get a handle on these losses right away, so they can be contained and and, and properly. Uh, uh, abated, and we can work with these clients to prevent any uh, future releases of hazardous materials. So the uh, environmental uh, uh, services uh, division of Charles Taylor is just that. We help clients to uh, contain uh, an environmental situation and to prevent any future problems. Excellent. I mean, I would hope that all my viewers know what personal hygiene is, but my guess is most have never even heard of industrial hygiene. Can you kind of define what that is and how long has it been around? Uh, well, uh, industrial hygiene is, is generically the, the science of protecting people, workers, and the environment from hazardous substances. So it could be physical, biological, or chemical stressors. And uh, it's been around for thousands of years, it's it, it, it can be found, uh, believe it or not, in the Bible. When uh, you, you when you look at um, uh, Leviticus, they talk about removing mold from your home. And and Deuteronomy, it talks about being safe on roofs by having a, a, a guardrail. So it's been a lot around for thousands of years. It really, I think, peaked during the Industrial Revolution, where we have a lot of smoke and and chemicals and 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 dust and high production and fuels. So um, it became clear that people were getting sick and that that um, the environment was getting uh, spoiled, and so that led to the creation of uh, the EPA and OSHA in 1970. Very important job you do. I mean, your aptitude for analyzing complex hazards and simplifying them for people kind of makes you the experts at getting the handle on complex situations. After assessing a situation, can you kind of give us an example of recommendations that maybe your company would provide? Uh, right, so, um, you know, there's the, the, the short term and then there's the long term. There might be a, a release of chemicals, you know, that, that, that might need uh, remediation uh, right away, and uh, then then what we do is provide recommendations to to prevent future releases. Like for example, uh, companies that use a lot of uh, containerize a lot of chemicals and have had a leak, we've had them put you know tanks of uh, water in in burned containers in case the tank leaks, or you know have we have. Uh, leak alarms or have uh, pipes uh, in 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 containment in case they spring a pipe leak and it doesn't get throughout the building. You know, noisy equipment, we can put noise curtains around it and, and foam and, and, and things like that. So um, it, it's just an endless list of uh, 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 engineering controls, they're called, that keep people safe. That is crazy. I imagine it is an endless list. 
uh, takes years of experience to understand what you're looking at. Every company is unique and every situation is different in terms of toxic release, magnitude. Do you get to know your clients and does each project require a customized plan of action? Right. The, 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 that's one thing I like about this field is the variety. And um, we get I get to go out and it's not like I work in a, a, in a factory, uh, you know, and doing the same thing every day I get out. I see different situations, different people, different contaminants. And so uh, that, uh, you know, it is interesting and, and we can we have to be highly flexible. That said, though, uh, the experience in the field, we go to enough um, uh, types of medical clinics and, and, and apartment buildings that have uh, sprinklers and asbestos. And so uh, different uh, uh, facilities fall into different groups. So if, if we're at a different, a, a specific type of uh, uh, facility, we know what categories of risks there are and, and what controls that are general for those types of clients. You have worked many, many years with different types of companies. How would you say the services of Charles Taylor maybe differs from some of the other providers out there? Uh, I, I think uh, uh, that that right now uh, it, we're small. We're a startup. We started, um, you know, just a couple of years ago, and we went from a few people to now forty people. We're tight knit. We um, we're all passionate about, you know, every person that we hire is passionate about doing this job, and they're they're knowledgeable. So we have a really tight knit group that know each other. So our, our communication is. Is, is very flat and very effusive. And so we get a lot of uh, uh, feedback from the, uh, the, um, the, the people that are technicians in the field about what software works, what the clients are saying, how can we improve service efficiency and speed. So our company is, is very agile and, um, and, and, and very quick and efficient about doing our job. Excellent. I mean, Charles Taylor Environmental is a global independent insurance adjuster with around 4,000 employees in 120 countries with 40 environmental consultants right here in the Western USA. I mean, there are multiple divisions within the company to add value for insured clients and to assist them with mitigating costs. Um, with 100 plus years, I mean, they truly have been time tested. And would you say they're definitely a leader in the industry? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Charles Taylor is, is, is global in 120 uh, countries. It's a growing uh, insurance uh, adjusting firm. And what we do is provide value added service to, to, the, to their, their uh, insured, their clients, and, and just about any other uh, customer we can provide service. So we provide specialties in marine, uh, with shipping, with aviation, with air travel, with engineering, with uh, uh, building design and construction and, 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 and analyzing how, what building faults there are. And, and then finally ours this is, is environmental and we deal with uh, hazardous uh, material uh, risks and chemicals and things of that nature. My viewers out there may not realize that consultants are retained to manage highly toxic risks associated with properties and hazardous building materials. I mean, how big are the projects that you can handle and are, and what are some of the hazardous materials that you have experience to work with? Like you said, it's quite a list, I imagine. Right, so I'll answer the second question uh, first. The, the hazards that we deal with are primarily asbestos, lead paint, mold, um, uh, flood that can have uh, you know sewage water and then there's radon uh, fires are really big if there's a fire in a building uh, we can analyze the smoke damage and and the fire damage and I just heard that uh, that there's it's up to about 350,000 different chemicals that are out in in the manufacturing arena so uh, there's a lot of hazards to get a handle on. And, and so when you talk about scalability and our ability to help clients, it, it, a lot depends on the size of uh, the situation or the need. We can go to areas that have been hit by a hurricane. 
we can have teams of uh, six, eight, ten people moisture mapping buildings, looking at asbestos and paint impact and, and mold, uh, all the way to a homeowner. Uh, if if a homeowner is uh, renovating a kitchen or a bathroom, they may be told by uh, their contractor that they need to check for hazardous materials. So we can be in and out of a house and and you know less than an hour checking uh, a house, uh, especially older homes for uh, you know asbestos, lead paint, uh, and, and some mold impacts. So it's very scalable. Many situations a company can find themselves in. Um, you can help. So be it residential, commercial, government, ind industrial, or even the healthcare sector. And your team has years of training and experience really to know what to do and provide some peace of mind for your clients. Is this rewarding work for you? And is it kind of your way of giving back? Uh, uh, yes, it is. It's rewarding uh, because... Uh, you know, our, our employees are passionate and they're, they're, they're interested in people. They're interested in learning new things. And so uh, we can take that knowledge. And what we do is we impart that knowledge to people that might be in a pinch or might be in crisis or might need uh, uh, to have hazardous materials uh, managed. And so we give back by simplification. I mean, if people might you know, you, people get anxiety on the internet or they talk to people about mold and asbestos. And and so we can really, uh, a, a lot of times uh, the, the hazards can, can be overstated in some situations. And uh, what we do is we quickly take these complex situations and simplify them for people and then say, you know, this is what we're going to do. It's going to be cost effective. You're going to be safe. Everything's under control. We can, you know, help manage the contractor and, and, and doing repairs and, and, and doing assurance testing at the end to really, uh, to give back, as you say, give people back their peace of mind and, and, and their lives. That is excellent. Great service your company provides. I was very glad to introduce you to my viewers. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you can see all the technical services they provide, and they have over 120 uh, country locations on six continents. So regardless of the multiple challenges you face as you develop your business, they understand and they provide highly specialized technical services that meet those challenges. Once again, that is Charles Taylor. Technical expertise, powerful technology, customized client solutions, and global reach to deliver better results for the world of insurance. This is Gary Atensu with CNTB, and if you don't know, now you know.